What's up my Taylor family? We are back with another video. This was a quick drop, but I wanted to show you guys how I do my brows in detail. So it is a talk through and just an updated brow tutorial because as y'all can see, my brows are much different than the way I used to do them. And I use different products. So I thought, you know what? I'll give y'all a detailed video. And I don't know how to get out. So I hope y'all love this video. <laughs> Make sure you keep on watching, but don't go any further unless you like, comment, and subscribe. I, I, like, comment, and subscribe. I, and hit that good old notification bell because it will pop up and you do not want to miss what's coming next. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Keep on watching. This is the Benefit Brow Gel that I'll be telling y'all about in my last video. Bomb. Someone asked, do I have a video of me trimming my brows? I do not. I don't trim them that often, but when I do trim them again, I'll make sure to record. You guys really love to see everything, and I, that's not a problem. I, I don't mind. This is going to be an updated brow tutorial. Just brows. My brows are... this up, pull this, going straight, we're going to pull these brows up, put them back in place, and we're going to go in lightly, and like hair stroke through it, so I'm just lightly taking the pencil and going through it gently. I'm gonna lightly go in front of my brow.
make sure it start real soft just like that and I'm gonna spoolie this up and soften it up I like to do my brow gel first because it shows me where I need to put my brows. Now look at that. So now I'm gonna just go back through with the brow gel. Take my brow gel again. Get it nice and gooey. And just pull these brow hairs up and let them lay. I know somebody's gonna ask about this brow, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it too. Fuck, forget it. Because the towel on the tail on this brow is different. So I do have to overline it and stuff like that to get it to pretty much match the other brow. It has a little bit too much brow gel on this eyebrow. You can see right here in this area, it's like clumping up. I'm gonna take my spoolie and just spoolie that out. Sorry, I'm so monotone today because I'm really trying to teach instead of, you know, just going through the motions of getting my brows done. I mean, doing my brows, I'm trying to actually teach you guys because I have a lot of people ask how do I do my brows in detail. So I figured I'd do an updated video with how I do it with pencil. Pretty even. And if they're not even, the cleanup process will make them very even. Y'all, this eyebrow always come out thicker, but I just have to over conceal it. It's just harder for me to do this brow, which is completely fine. I'm gonna just conceal this a lot more than I'm gonna conceal this. I'm gonna make spiced rum and buck butterscotch concealers together to get that perfect highlight brow bone highlighted color. I'm gonna mix a little bit of butterscotch, not too much. I'm just going in with my MAC 252S brush, like I always do. I like more of a rounded brow in the front, so instead of just going straight, I take it down at an angle because I like a rounded brow. I hate a straight brow on myself. It just doesn't frame my face well. Let's keep going. 
do the other side real quick. I'm gonna lay my brush flat and I'll drag it out. Y'all see how straight that came out? Y'all see these like little dips and stuff like that right there? I'm gonna take it straight now and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and straighten that out. Just tap it. I feel like I need to go up just a little bit more right here. These brows are pretty much even. We're gonna clean up the top. This time with just spiced rum. Cause it's gonna give us a tad bit of a highlight, but not too bright but at the same time, not too dark. And I'm gonna pump a little bit of my Spiced Rum foundation into it, just a very little, because I do want it close to my skin tone, not too far, not too bright, y'all. But like, at the same time, not exactly like my skin tone color. I wanna have a little bit of a highlight. I'm just dragging this across very slowly. Y'all always y'all see me picking my brush up often. As I get closer to the brow, I get slower. Y'all, that brow looks so good. Mm -mm. I need to get back into the gym. Like this is not, this need to cut it. Y'all look at how they like coming together. Look at that. Identical now. Identical twin sisters. All right, so I cut into this one just a little bit too much. I like the number four over the number five. I have the number five, it's just too dark. I'm moving toward a lighter brow and I'm obsessed with it. If you mess up, go back in and draw a sharp line and then once you're done, done drawing the sharp line, clean off that pencil, cause it's gonna have concealer in it. And if you keep going back into it without cleaning off the pencil, it's gonna have a lot of concealer into your brow hair and you don't want that All right. Now I go back one more time. Just clean this part up one more time and make it nice and rounded. Boom. Yeah, my brows are done. Now to blend this out. And we up in there, we up in there. They're even, I promise. That's why I draw them. I don't connect them on purpose. I draw them out until I'm done. 
And then if they connect by themselves, by, you know, drawing the other side and it connects, that means that they're even. If they're not even and you see one lower than the other, that means you have to take that brow hair up. I mean, you have to take that concealer up. Trust me, I have bad brow days and great brow days. Today's a good brow, great, excellent, phenomenal brow day. I'm obsessed on my brows right now. I need to start doing this more often. If I teach more often, then I'll be learning my dang self. Cause my brows don't always come out looking like that. I'm gonna take this line and I'm gonna blend it up. I'm gonna get, y'all see how I'm not close, too close to the brow? You don't wanna mess it up, like at all. So don't, don't touch the brow. Stay far away from the brow. I'm just blend this up. Then blend this down. Y'all could take a clean brush, like a really clean brush, and it'll just like kind of remove the product, but because it's not a super clean brush, it's just like, you know, just moving the product around. You're gonna have to put on some chapstick because my lips are very dry, but yes, this is it. This is it. I hope y'all loved it. I hope y'all slay y'all brows today, tomorrow, and forevermore. But I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Bye.